What's up everybody? Tech May here. And today I have a little bit of a tool haul for you. It's nothing spectacular. Uh, a couple things. You all know me. I'm always excited about tools. Uh, they are all three snap-on tools. Um, I want to brag about my tool dealer and I just want to give you a little update as to what's going on in my life in October. So first things first, the three tools I have are a light, which the part number on this is ECP R80420. Now, I don't have any lights like this. This is my first one. Um, all I have are, you know, um, I do have a couple observer tool flashlights. I have a headlamp by them, but I don't have any that are magnetic that can stick somewhere. So I think this is 400 lumens on high and 40 on low. Um, so I wanted a, a light because sometimes when I work on forklifts, um, the battery compartments are under the seats. It's not that they're like horrible lighting, but if I'm already in a badly lit area, I'll stick this on there and well, I'm going to stick this on there. I haven't used it yet to light up the area. Um, so we'll see how this works out. I would definitely let you guys know. Um, now I did get snap on and I'll explain that in a second. Um, but if there are any other little lights like this that you guys would recommend, please let me know down below. I would definitely check them out because I'm very interested. And so the other two things I got from snap on are the same thing but just different i got um allen's the i call them elkies i i know everybody calls them something different so the part numbers on this are awm g9 and then um aws 13 now one's metric and one's standard um so i got both because Sometimes some things are standard and some things are metric in the forklift world and that Yes, it is what it is um, So now the question Why did I get these from snap-on? I could have went to any of my Harbor Freight stores or I could have went to Umpteen different tool companies under the Sun and I chose snap-on which is probably the most expensive now. Let me tell you why my dealer my snap-on dealer is amazing um, his name is Tim and his wife Debbie now They are the dealer for the dealership that I used to work at now Let's see I've been gone for seven six seven months now And I've stayed in contact with them the whole time and they very easily could have been like tough luck buy from the website or find a new dealer in your area And I didn't so now we all know I live 45 minutes to an hour away from where I used to work um, If I can't meet up with them, they send me this stuff. They just I text them be like hey do you have this? We talk back and forth whether I want it or not. They get confirmation that I want it and they ship it out to me um, normally by the next day and then I get it in a day or two. Now we could do that with another tool company too. But I I like working with them. They're good to me. You know, they haven't, they give me good prices. They work well with me. Like I said, they get things shipped out in one to two days. I text, I mainly text Debbie. Um, and I'm like, hey, do you got this? Can you get this? Um, Something else awesome about them is I ordered a heat gun, I think back in May, and it has yet to come in. And I ended up going to Harbor Freight to get a cheap one just to hold me over. And it's, you know, it, it's not a bad thing to have uh, a secondary, especially if it's something you use forever, or not ever, but I use my heat gun four or five times a day sometimes. Sometimes I don't use it every day, but uh, some days I use it all the time. So it's like, it won't have, it won't hurt to have a backup. So I went to Harbor Freight, got the cheap one or whatever. Um, now, every time I, I, I don't ask him about it every week, I mainly forget that I order stuff. So I'll be like, hey, have you heard anything about that heat gun? Um, they'll call whoever the customer care, whoever they need to call or email, send an email and they'll get an updated date and then they'll be like, oh, we'll just send you the, um, the one we have for demo. I'm like, don't worry about it. I already have a backup and I'll just keep using that backup until I get my snap on one. Now, that's the other thing. I know a lot of tool dealers do demos or whatever they call them, I'm calling it a demo in this case, but do they do demos to people that they don't see anymore? Like, I think I've seen my dealer once, uh, and I just so happened to be in Rockford and we met up. Um, so I don't even see them anymore, and they were willing to mail me it until mine came in, and I mailed it, or I ordered it in May, so it, I, they could have had it, I could have had it for a very long time, but that's just how awesome they are. Um, great. They are great dealers. I absolutely love working with them. So that is why I buy from my Snap-on dealer because they respond quickly. I, I text, 
Um, I text them. They respond normally within 10, 15 minutes. Um, they give me good prices. They get things sent out to my house quickly. They are good people. Now, I hear everybody else bragging about their tool dealers, and some people are really lucky. They get awesome tool dealers. All, all of the tool dealers they get are awesome. Um, Snap-on is the only one that I really kept in touch with. I, I kind of keep in touch with my Mac dealer, but that's because I pay him for my box still. Um, but, you know, I hear everybody else brag about their Snap-on dealer, so let me brag about mine. He's awesome. If you're in the, I don't even know what area he does, but if you're near me and you need a Snap-on dealer, I would 100 times over recommend them. 10 times 10, 15 times 10, they are amazing. So, yep, I got Allen's and a light from him most recently. And I ordered those, those uh, that plier set, the six piece plier set that I got in blue and the screwdriver is the same deal. I, I texted them and they had them shipped out next day and I think I got them a day or, or two after that. Like, it's just awesome to me. Um, that's great customer service, I get it, it's their job but they do not have to go to me. They didn't need to go above and beyond and keep that relationship with me after I left the dealership that they service. So let me know if you guys have awesome Snap-on dealers. Um, let's brag. And you know what? It doesn't even have to be Snap-on. If you like one of your dealers more than the other because of their great customer service, let me know. Um, I like to hear about that stuff. I like to brag about people every once in a while. Um, and I know a lot of people brag about Snap-on because it's Snap-on who doesn't like Snap-on but my dealer is amazing and I will stay true to that and I will continue to buy little things from him if even if it costs me more just because of that great customer service I have received from them so let's talk about October um it is what this third second or third um it's the third I just wanted to get a video out in the beginning of October because October is a crazy month for me this year um it's my fiance's birthday our wedding and then my birthday so and now they're all towards the end of the month but with that being said we have a bunch of you know last minute things to do unfortunately our honeymoon trip just got canceled so now we have to find a new place to honeymoon to uh so we're in the process of doing that so um i just wanted to get at least one video out to you guys to show what i have gotten um i actually just got this stuff last week maybe a week two weeks ago um and kind of let you know what's going on to me in october so it is a busy month i will hopefully have another video out for you um, if not, definitely in November, I will show you guys, if you want to see it anyway, my wedding, our honeymoon, wherever we decide to go. Uh, where'd you guys go for your honeymoon? Let me know down in the comments. Um, we're debating on whether we want, so originally we are going to Ireland, and now we're debating if we want to go to a beach somewhere, if we want to go to a beach, do we want to stay in the States, do we want to go to Mexico, do we want to go to the Falls, do we want to go out of the country, because, you know, with... All this stuff going on are we gonna have to quarantine and i don't want to get political or talk about that anyway but let me know where you guys would go um so if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them in the comments below please like share and subscribe um i can't thank you guys enough i think i hit my 350th subscriber which is very little to some of you guys but i never once thought i'd have 350 people subscribe to me um so let's keep that up let me know what you guys want to see um yeah, uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the love and support I have gotten through my YouTube and Instagram journey. So with that being said, peace.